How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to be debt free in one year. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more detail. The easiest way to become debt free is to cut your expenses. I cannot stay, say that enough. So you are saving money each month as opposed to wasting it. I will give you a few tips to help you be debt free in one year. That is to make sure that wherever you are living that you have a roommate or two, you guys. Very important. Wherever you are living, I don't care where you're living. If you right now are living in a single bedroom apartment all by yourself, then you are not doing your best to become debt free in one year. The thing is by living with people, you drastically, drastically cut your expenses down. You basically get the exact same amount of space too. The only thing is that you now have to occupy your space with another person. So as long as you're okay with being around one person for a few hours a night, because you're not gonna see the person all the time, you're gonna go to work, you might come home, they might be there for a couple hours, you might dip out, they might dip out, um, you might not see um, each other. So for that long so if you're okay with this it will save you a substantial amount of money what i mean by this is if you have a one bedroom apartment where i live it's eleven hundred dollars roughly in a decent neighborhood for a two bedroom it's thirteen hundred so it's an extra two hundred dollars you get an extra room so it'd be smart to get a two bedroom and then just rent it out with someone else so you pay 650 a month as opposed to paying eleven hundred dollars so you're literally saving $450 by just having someone occupy the room. Now, the best thing is to get a friend, someone that you're close with, someone that you like being around as opposed to a random person. But you can get a random person too. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as you're, they seem like they're safe and they're okay to be around at nighttime and stuff like that. But that is hands down. Your living expense is one of the biggest reasons why people are, are are in debt right now. Another major thing, and I really wanna talk about this, is your mortgage. If you guys have a mortgage right now, what I like people to do when they ask me mortgage advice is I hate, I absolutely hate when people do the bare minimum of their mortgage, they put 5% down, and their mortgage is skyrocket. You don't wanna do this, you guys. Banks love this. If you come in, you want a big loan, the bank will say, hell yes because you're paying them a ton of interest over time. If it takes you 25 years to pay off that mortgage, the amount of interest you pay them, if your house costs like 400,000, you're giving them like $120,000 back in interest, interest alone. That's why the bank loves mortgages. So anytime a mortgage comes out, boom, they're making money and they have millions and millions of mortgages. They're making a phenomenal phenomenal amount of money you guys so your living expense is huge uh, your mortgage whether you're renting where you're living that is absolutely huge your food I want to talk about food people that eat out if you are eating out I cannot stress this enough enough it just makes me shake my head people who eat out anytime you're eating out it doesn't matter if it's one meal a day or one meal every second day one meal every third day that costs a ton of money, you guys. Uh, generally, where I'm from, 15 to $20 for a meal. So let's say you have one meal a day. That's $20 a day, 30 day is $600, you guys. $15 a day, 450 a month. Uh, that's astronomical, you guys. Um, and you're only getting a meal which is like 850 to 1,000 calories, so you're still gonna be hungry. You're still gonna have to eat more food. So if you're spending that much money, for myself, I can eat I know when me and my fiance, when we go shopping, our bill is like 80 or 90 bucks every week. And that's for both of us to eat. So like divide that by two. So it's like 40 to 50 bucks. So like $160 for me to eat food a month, maybe. And I mean, if you eat takeout, that's five meals. That's five takeout meals. So you can Monday to, th Monday to Friday have one meal just the first week of the month and you're already... Um, paying what I'm eating in the whole month. I'm getting 2,500 calories and you're getting like 800 calories. So huge, huge difference. Do not eat out, you guys. Trust me on this. End of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.